Well, hi friends and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. Okay, so it is hotter than heck here. It's smoky from all the forest fires, hence why I sound a little uh, hoarse in the throat today. I may be um, <clears throat> clearing my throat a bit throughout this video and I apologize, but because it's so hot, I have an itching to go to the beach and I can't. I can't go to the beach today. So we're gonna do the next best thing and paint something that we would find at the beach. At least things that we would find at the beach out here in the Pacific Northwest. I think you can find these pretty much anywhere. But what are we going to paint? Starfish! Yes, these are starfish hands, by the way. Okay, I'm done. So what I'm gonna do is open up my art journal to a page because I don't like to go front to back it takes the intimidation factor down a notch. And instead of just doing one starfish, I wanna do a full page spread, a full page layout. So I'm gonna have a starfish be in this corner, maybe one off here, kind of off center, another one here, and then another going off the page, just to make it a nice, nice full spread. And the thing with starfish too, is they're not perfect. Love that, you don't wanna be perfect. They're not gonna be like perfect star shapes. You could do that if you want, maybe if you're doing more of like a graphic logo type of deal. But for this purpose, I wanna keep the starfish as loose and organic looking as possible, especially when we're doing the lines. So I'm gonna start down here, and I'm gonna draw the first arm of the starfish, making it nice and light. And then as I come into the body, I'm gonna kind of thicken it out a bit and then go over here. Maybe this arm is bending a little bit. Can you see that? And then in. And then this one is gonna be kind of curved too. This one's going off the page, so we'll just bring this up like that, and that one goes off the page. Oh, that's a little thinner than I'd like. Try to keep the arms equal width, but if it's not perfect, that's okay. So there's my first guy. That actually turned out a lot bigger than I thought. That's all right. Let's do another one here. Hmm. Yeah, let's have, well, you know what, I'm gonna have one coming up here. We're gonna do, okay, change of plans. We're gonna do a two page spread. Are you ready for it? Don't worry, I think this will take you the same amount of time as if we were doing just one page, just a little more surface area to cover. So I'm gonna do another here. His body's gonna be here, but I'm gonna have the legs come down like that. Maybe this is a smaller starfish, a baby. And I think that's pretty good. All right, I don't wanna do anything on the crease just because the water's gonna stick in here. And I have a problem with some art journals where when I'm using watercolor, it loosens up the glue, it makes it not as sticky, and then I'm having pages fall out of my journal. So I'm gonna to try to avoid that. That being said, I'm just gonna bring this over that way now that I know we're doing two pages. Let's put a starfish here, a full-blown starfish thicker toward the middle, because that's the body. And around. Maybe this guy's going under that one a bit. I don't know, we'll see, whoops. And then around, I'm gonna curve that leg out. And last but not least, this arm. Like that. Starfish can crawl on top of each other, right? Whatever, that works. <laughs> We're going with it. Um, let's see, composition wise, I'm gonna put another one. Let's put one up here, just a leg. And maybe one, the start of one down here. Again, that's a little guy. Sweep it around. Eh. I don't think I like that. This doesn't look right to me. I'm gonna get rid of these lines and just keep it. I'll just keep that loose and organic. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Now, the thing with starfish is that they have all these cool patterns, little lines going on their bodies everywhere. And then on top of them, they have these little white dots. And again, I apologize, I am not a marine biologist. I don't know the correct uh, anatomical terms, the terminology for starfish body parts. So I'm just going with what makes sense to me. Now, when it comes to drawing in the lines, I'll just kind of scribble it in lightly to show you. I'm gonna go back over this with a micron pen, so I'm not gonna do this right now too heavily. What, I'm, what I wanna do is paint in the background, paint in the water first, let that dry, and then go back in and paint the starfish, um, just paint the starfish themselves. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and paint those babies. Paint that background. Um, I want to use, Hmm, I'm always using my Jane Davenport, but I feel like I did just buy a bunch of um, Daniel Smith watercolors. So this one I haven't filled in yet. And I haven't really used them. I don't know why. I think I'm nervous too, just because they were kind of spendy. But you know what? Let's get over that fear. Let's just face it. Let's face it, use them, and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm noticing that because this page is toward the back of the book, it's wanting to kind of curve up a bit. So this gives me the perfect opportunity to use these new little fun clips I found. 70% off at Michael's. Let's use the juicy one and let's use the rocket ship because why not? It's a juicy rocket ship. Okay, let's clip that down. Let's clip this down. Hopefully this works. Wait, this goes this way. Good enough. Okay, let's start with the background. I am gonna do a light wash with just water first. Normally I go in right away with pigment, but I wanna try something different today. I'm going to drop a bunch of different colors into this wash and then just let them kinda blend in with each other bleed in with each other. And then what I might do is go back over with some toilet paper. You could do a um, paper towel too. And then blot it to give it the effect of water, of reflection. Let's just do this page first. So that, that way it stays open a little bit longer. And got a little there inside. Okay, now let's use I think I'm gonna go for the phthalo blue and maybe the French ultra marine. I wanna have a couple different colors and let's see what that looks like. Yes, ooh, see, ugh, always drips into that corner. I'll get that out with a, uh, with a little piece of toilet paper. Need some more water over there. Blend it in. That's a really beautiful blue. Nice pigmented color. Put some down here. You can have the color touch the starfish if you want. I personally like having a little bit of white space. It just gives it some interest. Keeps it kind of organic and flowy. Let's not forget in here. Okay, so we've got the first layer down. That's the phthalo blue, by the way. Let's go in with some French ultramarine and see if it gives it some dimension. Ooh, that's pretty. A little dark down here. That's okay. Actually, you know what? As I'm looking at this, I'm gonna keep this uh, right side of the starfish a little bit darker. I'm gonna go back in with a, th uh, bleh bleh, a smaller brush to denote shadow. That is a really pretty blue. Yes. Cool, and you know what? Let's go ahead and do this side while we're at it.
Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go back over it with a clean um, wad of toilet paper and just lift some of this pigment to give it some dimension, to give it some uh, lighter colors. And then that's just gonna denote some reflection in the water. Okay, so while we're waiting for this background to dry, I'm going to go in with my number 12 brush on the edges of the starfish on the right side of their body and give it a little bit of a dark shadow, a dark little outline, just so it shows that the light source is over here and that the starfish is in shadow on this side. It's gonna make it look really cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this background dry before we go in and paint the bodies of the starfish because the last thing that we want is for the orange, I'm gonna paint these guys orange, is we don't want the orange to bleed into the water. That's just gonna look ridiculous. So let's be patient and let's wait for this to dry. Okay, so the background is pretty much dry except for this one little spot over here, but whatever, that's fine. So I want to paint these starfish orange because I think it's gonna look nice against this blue background. It's gonna really make them pop. Plus orange is such a beautiful, happy color. And starfish are just a happy looking animal. I think they're beautiful. So let's do them in orange. I'm going to use, what's this called? This is the Paranone orange, Paranonoi orange, I can't say that right. I, like I have little labels on the side of my trays, I don't know if you can see that, but my handwriting is terrible and alas, I cannot read them. So let's just do that orange, whatever it's called for real. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix some of this over here. Get some water, a little more water. I'm gonna mix it with this shade of, it's almost a yellow or a light orange and see what that does. Messy watercolors. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add some more water to it just to dilute it a bit. I'm gonna make quite a bit because we've got a few starfish here, quite a bit of water and let's see what that looks like. Now I'm just going to lightly wash the bodies of these starfish. This is just gonna be the first layer. And then what I'm gonna do is in the areas where we have this shadow in the background, I'm gonna add some more pigment to the orange. So it's gonna be a little bit darker on the bodies as well. That's a nice muted orange. I think I'm gonna saturate it up a little bit though. I love my bright colors, but I don't wanna to go too bright. Although I do think there are starfish in some parts of the world that are purple and I think green and blue, just beautiful colors. It's really amazing the colors that you can find with um, marine life. We were watching a documentary on Netflix the other night. It was like on 72 of the world's most deadliest animals. And they had this little, I think it was an anemone, a sea anemone. It was beautiful. It had all these vibrant colors, oranges, reds, greens, blues, and little feathers that looked like sticking out of it. But it turns out that if it bites you, if you touch it, you, you basically want to die. Like it's so painful you want to die. So it's like the prettiest little thing, but it's the most lethal little thing ever. But anyway, sea life is beautiful. All the natural organic bright colors. Okay, coming over here, I'm just gonna leave a little white space there so that doesn't blend in together. And just uh, keep going with my wash on this side of the page. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I'm not even hitting the lines. 
and I am leaving um, spots of pigment in each of the bodies, except for this one. I'll go back in and kind of chunk it out a little bit because I want texture, I want to show shape, dimension, and uh, uniqueness within each of the starfish. Add some more here. So yeah, let's go in on this side, get some more pigment, and just kind of drop in some color on the sides here. Decided I didn't like that, so I'm just gonna pull it out and then just wash over it. It's gonna stay a little bit, but that's okay. Whoops. Just kind of blend it out, make it a shadow. And honestly, we're gonna go over this with a micron pen and then a paint pen, or maybe watercolor, I'm not sure yet, to give the little white drops. So this background is just gonna kind of be what it is, a background disappear and our focus is going to be on the detail. So let's go ahead and let this dry, see how it looks. And then if I feel like I want to go put in some more shadows, I will do that once this is dry. So you know what I was thinking while I was watching this dry? I want to make these metallic. I want to give these guys a little pop of shimmer. Plus I have these awesome metallic accent watercolors that I got. At, I think it was paper source and excuse me, I really want to use them. I was thinking this would look really pretty in here just to give it some more um, texture, some more interest and some more color. So let's go ahead and while it's drying, drop some of this shimmer into the bodies of the water, of the uh, starfish. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I'm just doing a nice big chunk of pigment and I'm gonna let it roll down the page because that's actually where the shadow is gonna be. I'm gonna go like this. And I'll show you guys once this dries, I'll pick it up and you can see the shimmer. It's kind of hard to see now, but once it dries, you should really be able to see it. Let's go back over here. Isn't it fun to just get crazy with your watercolor and just let it do whatever it wants to do? You don't have to worry about making perfect lines or perfect shapes. Oops, it's a little too much. It's uh, fun to just let it be in control. Let it run wild and free. That's what I want to do. I want to be wild and free. Actually, no, that's not true. I was a little too wild and free when I was in college and it got me into a little bit of trouble off and on, but I sure had fun. Sure had fun. Now I can be wild and free as an adult, but a responsible wild and free. I don't know if that counts, if that contradicts that statement. Okay. This is cool. I actually like how the paper is popping through the texture and that's probably because I used a ton of water on this, probably more than I was supposed to, but I'm not mad at it. It gives the starfish some nice bumps. It looks like it's rough to touch. So this is cool. Let's see what it looks like when it dries, and uh, then we'll go from there, right after I pick up this annoying little brush hair. Cool, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've let this dry for a bit, and can you see the shimmer? Look at that gorgeous shimmer. And it's got this neat textural effect from the paper in it too, so it shows up even more. Ooh, I love it, I love it. So now let's get crazy with our Micron pen. This is my 03, um, do I wanna use this one? Let's see. Let me look at this. No, that is way too thick, that's a one. Yeah, we'll just stick with this, that's fine. And as always, instead of doing a straight line, we are going to do what I call scribble lines because it gives it a nice organic feel and it takes the pressure of having to do a straight line off. And it's more fun. It's more relaxing this way. 
So I'm just gonna take my pen and go along the outline of the starfish. And it's okay if it kind of goes out into the background. It's supposed to be loose. This is an exercise in keeping us loose and really it's just to allow us to have fun, to take time to art today. Okay, so now let's go ahead and give the starfish the little texture, the lines. And believe it or not, I was feeling really bad that I didn't give the starfish their proper names for their anatomy. So I looked it up. I don't know if you can see this, but these are called spines. Whoops. These are the little spines. That's what we're going to do. That's the disc. This is the terminal tentacle. And that is the madreporite. So, and the ray. This is a ray. Just in case you were wondering, because I was. I hope you could see that. All right, so let's go in and draw on our hands <laughs> and start just doing loose little lines. And I'm gonna go around the center like this and leave this kind of open. I'm gonna put a little ring there. And just let your hand go crazy. Let it do what it wants to do by making loose lines like this. It's so fun. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just put the pen down, let the ink do what it wants to do, and let your hand just go crazy. Get wild with it. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've got our scribble lines in place. Now comes the fun part. What I'm going to do is use my Jane Davenport paint over pen in Unicorn, which is basically white. I got this at Michael's. You can find it online, I think, on her website, which is janedavenport.com or, of course, michaels.com. There's a couple other brands that make pens similar to this. I think I have one. Let me see. It's a scrapbooking pen. I think it's uh, Reflections. Or no, yeah, Recollections makes a pen. But I found that Jane's pens are really pigmented. So if you are trying to cover um, a piece of work that's dark, this will show up a lot better. So what we're gonna do is using these lines as our guide, we're just gonna go over and make dots. That's it. How fun is this? Just make little white dots. And you don't have to make them too big. And of course they don't have to be perfect. So just follow the lines and make dots. Okay, so something that I'm finding as I go through and put dots over this Micron pen is that the pen is actually picking up some of the black. And you can see that the white is getting a little darker. So I'm gonna try the other brand that I just mentioned, the Recollections, and see if that works any better. Actually, this is purple on it already. Let's try this. Little bit better, not as pigmented, but it doesn't seem to be picking up the black as much. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've got all my dots in and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna lift this up, scoot out my chair here, pardon the noise, and I'm gonna lift this up so you can kind of see the shimmer, see the details, and just see how neat it looks when we keep it loose and organic like that. What a fun art journal exercise. I hope that you guys do this. This was really fun. And don't worry if you don't have the uh, metallic accents. It is something fun to have, but 
you know, I just wanted to do something a little bit different with these guys, but you can just definitely stick with regular watercolors as well. And you could probably even do this with uh, India inks. If you have some of those, I've got a really pretty color here. That might have been nice to use. Maybe next time. Maybe we'll do an art journal page using this next time. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would love your support. And if you're interested in joining our private Facebook group, you'll find a link in the description down below. Feel free to join, introduce yourself, and share some of your art journal pages. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you soon.